Today is my birthday. I'm 36 years old. But. Should I turn this into a vlog? No, nah, I'll just make this video like this. Okay, today's my birthday. My wife got me some flowers, and I love flowers. And I think that if you're by chance a woman watching this, I think it's a very beautiful thing to get a man flowers. I love flowers. And she got me a card, but I wanna say something. I thought I would be depressed turning 36. I was fearing it because yesterday I was like, 26 and, and, and you know when you're in your 20s you look at people in their 30s you're like oh shit no. but I woke up this morning and I actually started crying I was sobbing that was kind of weird because I have so much gratitude and I feel so happy and so blessed here's why I'm gonna get all Kelphis on you there's a, a meditation called the, Re the recapitulation meditation and I'm gonna read you this card in a second for my wife I want you to go backwards in your life in a morning that you can kind of sleep in on a Sunday or something. And I want you to think about your whole life going backwards all the way back to when you were a kid and think about everything that you've been through, everything that you've come through, it just every little moment in your life all the way till present moment. And what, what happens is you go all the way back and then come all the way back forward and you and then you're here right now. And all this gratitude flows in. It like reconnects the dots in a whole new way. And it gives you it gives you closure on a lot of things in your life. And 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 it makes you have a gratitude and be in the present moment, right? And then what I realized for myself is like for instance, um all the the piece of crap cars and trucks that I had, the years and years and years of struggling, working myself to death, saving up to buy a car to have the transmission blow up and then buying another car and then the motor blowing up in a week being without a car for another six months saving up to get another car and then the motor blow the motor blowing up on that car within the fourth time of driving it right then having another car finally and then getting in a car accident and losing it just it, it was one problem after another after another and dead-end jobs and my life was a real living hell and I found books like Dr. Wayne Dyer and audiobooks in it. And I think that if it wasn't for the audiobooks and kind of like the the mentors and the people that they're, they're the people that tell you to keep going, you know, just keep going, keep trying, keep your head up, uh, stay positive, and just fight through. Even in the darkest times when your life sucks, your business sucks, everything's breaking down around you. Those are the times that form your character that's to see that that's that's your spiritual growth so you're becoming wealthy spiritually when you can make it through those really hard times and stay the course right so now i got this little dog she's licking my nose i love this dog and uh today's my birthday i'm very happy um now i have a truck that doesn't break down we got a condo that we're renting. We're looking for a house, but it's not falling apart. I got me a pretty wife. We just got food in the fridge, and everything's gonna be great. Now listen. Stay there, doggy. She says, to my amazing husband, in all my dreams, I never imagined marrying someone as wonderful as you. You're such a caring person and a wonderful husband. You've filled my life with many good things so many and many special moments being married to you is the best thing that's ever happened to me i love you i love our life together and i love being your wife <laughs> have a wonderful birthday and she says i don't know what i would do without you thank you for always loving me no matter what i love you for eternity love your wife ashley and miko gracie ninja oliver and jeepers that's our five my wife's dream is to open up a, an animal rescue one day, so we're going to get property with a barn. They're going to be everywhere. It's going to be amazing. But, um, hmm. oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I want to give you a tip about being married. So, <laughs> marriage goes like this.
<laughs> and here's what happens when uh, you're married. I learned this stuff the hard way. Like, there is no in the middle. You're either in or you're out. So, if you're always 100% in, no matter what, even if it feels like the other person isn't 100% in, or they feel like you're not 100% in, or whatever, because you go through stuff, right? You just predetermine, no matter what, that you are 100% in, and that doesn't ever, ever change. And then what it does is it sees you through all the storms, and then it brings you stronger together. Every little time you have any turbulence, the turbulences are just nothing but tests that solidify and make it stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And then you get to a point with the person that you love where you're completely inseparable and you know that you have each other's back through everything, even through all the storms. And um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's my video. It's my birthday. I got a dog, watch this. If I kept talking, she has to have all the attention. So, I'm not looking at you, Gracie. Hey. Um. So hit the. <laughs> I told you. See. Oh, spoiled. She was sick a couple months ago, and we I rushed her to the vet. I was scared, dude. She was panting, and <laughs> yeah. I used to look at these dogs. I'm like, why do people like those stupid little dogs? They don't. They're not even. And then once you get one and you find out how much they no, love you. You're the baby. Alright, yeah. you're like you're like next video. Alright, peace.